Good morning, everybody. This is Logan, and he's going to help me talk to you about the story of Moses today called Parting of the Red Sea. Now, I know it's been a couple of weeks since the last time we talked about Moses, but I'll, I'll let you know what, what happened. So after all of those plagues, Pharaoh finally said, yeah, you can go, leave Egypt. So they all packed up their bags really, really fast before he changed his mind, and they ran out of town. So we're going to pick up our story right as they're leaving town, and they kind of get stopped by a little bit of a roadblock. So here we are. And let's do our story for today. So Pharaoh was sitting there and he was thinking, watching all of those Israelites leave Egypt. And he went, um, let me know. Oh no! What? We can't let them leave. They do all of the hard work and the stuff that the Egyptians don't want to do. So we, we got to go get them. So he grabbed a great big army and he went after them. So the Pharaoh and his army started running after the Israelites saying, we're going to get you. And the Israelites ran away. These are the Israelites here, but they were getting closer and closer. And then the Israelites found a little bit of a problem. They ran so far that they came up against a great big sea. And they couldn't even see the land on the other side. And now the Egyptians were coming and they had nowhere to run. Moses said, it's okay guys, don't panic. The Lord will take care of us. So he raised up his staff and all of the water on one side went over to the right and all of the water on the other side went over to the left which left a really nice dry land path. So all of the Israelites ran along the path towards the other side of the sea without getting wet. The Israelites all ran across the dry land path, but then the Egyptians and Pharaoh's army followed them. When all of the Israelites made it safely to the other side, the water started to fall. And it started to fill in again. And it took all of the Egyptians who were still in there. And it washed them away down the stream, leaving Pharaoh on one side and Moses and all of his people safe on the other side. So Moses and his brother Aaron and their sister Miriam and all of the Israelites were safe on the other side. So they set up camp and they danced and they sang and they had such a lovely time because now they were finally free from the Egyptians. Today's craft is finding our way through the Red Sea and safely finding our way to the end. All right, guys, so grab your lesson seven bag and let's see what's in it. You'll see a maze, a round maze with a little arrow on the top, a paper plate. This is not for eating, it is for crafting. You'll find a couple of round magnets, a couple of square magnets, and a little piece of paper with little squares on it. So this is what we're going to use today to make a parting of the Red Sea maze. So we're going to start with the paper plate, and this is going to be the C. C. So color it, you know, watercolored. We're going to make it 
Well, I'm gonna make mine blue. I don't know what color your water is. You can make it whatever color you want. You can draw some little fishes in it. Some seaweed. Now we're gonna put the sea aside and we're gonna look at the maze. Now it's got a little stick in the middle. Some of you will have a flag there. Some of you, it didn't print out very well. So we're going to be able to draw our own flag. The flag is how you know you made it to the end. So I wrote end in my flag. Now, what we have to do is cut out along the circle of the maze. If you need some, some parental help, do not, do not hesitate to ask. Your parents would love to help you with the scissors and we don't want anybody to get hurt. Now we have a round maze that will fit perfectly in our C. So grab some glue, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the maze into the C. Now it doesn't matter which way's up, which way's down, because, I mean, it's a circle. You can look at it from any direction. There we go. So you'll find the next part is these little tiny squares. Now we're gonna make these people. So I'm gonna make one of the Moses. Make one of them Aaron. This one is gonna be me And this one, this one's gonna be a puppy dog. So, once you've finished all, all four of your people, cut them out, and again, ask your parents for help, because they're kind of little. Cut them out very carefully. And be careful, once they're cut out, you don't wanna lose them, because they're really easy to blow away. There we go. So now take your little square magnets and rip them apart so that they're four separate magnets instead of one big magnet or two little magnets, however it is you have them. You'll find the white stuff on the end or on the back comes off. Just like that. And this side is sticky. So put one of your little people on the sticky side of the magnet. There we go. So now the people can go through the maze. So what you're gonna do is take one of the people, I'm gonna get me, and put it at the very start of the maze. And then, oh, grab your other magnets, the round ones, and put it underneath. So you can, now you can move the person. Yay! Except you gotta follow the maze. 
And you gotta find your way through the maze. Trying not to find any of these dead ends. Trust me, it's harder than you'd think it is. I guess I'm not very good at mazes. But you gotta find your way all the way to the other side of the Red Sea. Alright guys, good job on your little maze. Um, you can't really see mine so much here, but I've got Moses sitting at the end and he's pretty happy about himself making it through on dry land. So, it took me a while, but I finally found my way through the maze. I hope you guys managed to find your way through too as well. Um, before we finish today, there's a little prayer on your insert, just like every week, and uh, we're going to pray together. So. Grab your insert and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for showing the Israelites the way to safety. Help us to always find the safe path. Amen. Well, thank you guys, and um, I love hanging out with you guys every week, so I can't wait to see you again next week. Remember to send me any pictures that you've taken. I'd love to see how your maze turned out. Um, I will see you next week.